Hi folks, welcome back. We're here on uh, Tivoli Drive and Rampart Boulevard, which is actually Alta Drive now, but uh, here at Tivoli Village in Western Las Vegas, as we look over at the Suncoast Casino, where they've held uh, political rallies and things of that nature in the past, there at the Suncoast Casino. Hoping to avoid the raindrops here on the way home. See, sir, there's some dark clouds out down towards the south. We're gonna go back up here towards the 215. You can see the signage there for Tivoli Village. And then uh, more of Suncoast Casino, which is uh, curiously situated next door to Rampart Casino over here. In what I dare call, well, it's more Boca Park than it is East. Summerlin, but I guess it could be considered East Summerlin simply because of its propinquity to what is Summerlin proper. And it has been raining here on this uh, Saturday, September Saturday here. Just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel, and we can use that to send our son to college. It's totally free to you, no cost whatsoever, and also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok as we get the green here at Moda Corso. More raindrops falling. As we pass by what is Angel Park Golf Club and Nuno's Kitchen, and also Rampart Casino over here on the west side of the street. Going through the green here at Canyon Run Drive, and we're gonna get onto Summerlin Parkway East, so that we can uh, meet up with US 95 South. Good rain cell moved through earlier on our way out west here. And the temperatures are not a problem today. It's the uh, dodging of the raindrops as well as the flooding that occurs because the rain has nowhere to go once it falls to the ground here in the desert. Highway 95 here in just under two miles as we go underneath Durango Drive. We'll hang out here in the HOV lane, which should give us a pretty good view of the Las Vegas Strip as it is elevated over the interchange with Summerlin Parkway and US 95. falling, continues to fall, and you can see some clouds up ahead that have some, uh, look like they have some rain falling down to the ground as well.
opposite side over there. Looks like there may be a vehicle fire of some sort over there. Not quite sure. As we merge in with the official HOV lane, eastbound or southbound. Technically, we're going east, but direction wise, according to the map, we're going south on US Highway 95. Mountains you see in the distance there are going to be uh, Frenchman's Mountain to the right, that peak, and then Sunrise Mountain to the left, the peak to the left of Frenchman's there. So you can see travel times up there posted on the message board. Las Vegas Boulevard is only five miles, or five minutes rather, away. You can see downtown Las Vegas there in the distance. I'm guessing that's 
it's going to be your warning for the interchange at Charleston because the traffic's definitely slowing down around Charleston with the construction there. So we approach the exit here to Eastern Avenue, which is a major north-south north -south artery here in Las Vegas. some sort up there in the foothills of the mountains. green light here at Sacramento. It's on a timer right now because of the construction. It's a big empty lot here on the southeast corner of Sacramento and East Charleston Boulevard. See a little lot, you can see kind of a lot of uh, dirt and debris in the roadway, mostly as a result of the uh, rains from earlier. and uh, make a left here on the Lamb Boulevard. Taking a look here at the uh, water that has accumulated over the uh, day's rains here at East Charleston and Lamb Boulevard. See what looks like a public works vehicle there in the middle of the street. Blocking tra the uh, middle travel lane. Might as well take a look at the price of gas. $4.49 for unleaded. Here in Las Vegas today. This, we watched this little Civic attempt to go through. The water accumulated there. And just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos if we get up to over 1,000 subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel. You can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you. No cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. Hi, folks. Welcome back. Um, we're headed west on Charleston. The flooding is uh, seems to be uh, receding a little bit here there at the uh, intersection of Lamb and Charleston. I had to get some gas, so we're headed back 
we're gonna make a right here onto Prince and head up to Stewart Avenue. Take a look at the see, uh, flooding scene here as we continue on the east side, driving on the east side. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube can monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever, and also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. Gotta get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok in order for them to monetize us. And then that becomes two to four cents per view over 1 million views so we definitely need your help with that goal that's a monumental goal to say the least come up here to the stop sign at Sunrise Avenue I must say on the way out these streets were a little more flooded than this someone put out some sort of yellow I don't know what they are rubber mats of some sort to get up over the uh, the drainage um, bumps that they have here in the intersections. And tow trucks I'm sure are having a great day pulling people out of the water. So we go through Ogden Avenue. on the roadways here. Nothing, not extensive flooding we're seeing like we saw earlier. And uh, you can check that out on our channel. Uh, you can see some of the sediment here has been pushed out of maybe that driveway over there onto the roadway. Make the right here onto Stewart. Looks like there may have been an accident there on the left of some sort. Take a look at the apartment building, see how they fared through the uh, storms earlier. There's a crashed Honda Civic there on the right, just sitting there. And there's a whole bunch of vehicles over here on the swale with no, uh, no tags. It's peculiar. We got a green here, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make a left because the road is blocked up ahead there. We're gonna go up here to Washington, or I'm sorry, to Bonanza. Because of the flooding that has taken place here on the east side today. And just a quick reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. Get up to uh, 1,000 subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel, we can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. Also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. So we approach the little intersection here at Bonanza. Make this right and go east. sure why the police have Stewart blocked off over there, but definitely creates a detour and uh, affords us a pretty good opportunity to take a look at the mountain peaks of Frenchman's Mountain to the right of Sunrise Mountain, which is on the left. So Frenchman's Mountain is there on the south side of Sunrise Mountain, which is on the north side in the view ahead there as we continue heading east here on Bonanza. Approach Marion. We'll go ahead and get behind the car in the lane that has the least amount of traffic in it. So we finally got the green here. My son is excited about that in the back seat. He loves when lights turn green. He knows that's his mother's favorite color. So we take a look at the wash down there. One of them, I believe that's the Las Vegas wash. Now it's accommodating all of the different uh, 
amounts of water that have dropped from the sky today in this monsoonal September afternoon. We approach the light here at Nellis Boulevard. Folks fueling up over there, but uh, there's no gas prices listed. As we look at a 7-Eleven on a corner here of Nellis and Bonanza. Oh, and by the way, there's a 7-Eleven on a corner here of Nell at Nellis and Bonanza. They are kitty quarter from one another. Always a very interesting sight. And across the street on the left, you can see what looks like a former Pizza Hut, which is now a tire shop. But it has that same red roof look to, uh, to it that Pizza Hut dining restaurants used to have. As our son continues to giggle in the backyard, backyard, the back seat. So he might as well be in the backyard, given all the fun that he's having. As we uh, await this Nissan Titan to make his decision as to what he wants to do. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. Also on TikTok. We also uh, throw these up on TikTok, so please like and follow us on TikTok as well. Toyota goes up flying around behind him. As we sit here at Christie Lane, Christie's notorious for uh, a lot of red lights. As ours finally turns green again, and the light up ahead here at Lynn is flashing red. I'm wondering if there was a power outage of some sort during the storms earlier. Usually, uh, flashing traffic lights are indicative of such a thing. Also noticing some folks standing outside vehicles up here on the right shoulder and uh, what looks to be a bumper sitting just off the roadway. As we come up to this four-way stop here at Lynn, notice what looks like a Kia of some sort or a, maybe it's a Hyundai it's just sitting there in that intersection. folks got stranded here or if there was an accident of some sort. Unknown. We'll continue east. Just past Memory Lane here on the east side of town, just off Bonanza. And a little dune buggy. Polaris looking creature. certain if that's street legal or not, but he's going for it. And just a reminder, if you like to see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. Also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. So we look up at the peaks of Frenchman's Mountain on the right or the south and Sunrise Mountain on the left or north. And this Nissan truck passes us again, the New York Giants fan. And we pass Theater Court on our approach to Mount Hood, which becomes Fog Street, or Frog Drive. No, it is Street, here on the right side, or south side of Bonanza. Looks like there's a ball of some sort there in the roadway. As our son continues voicing his excitement about being out of the house today. And that's going to conclude our coverage for today. We want to thank you all very much for joining. And hello to all of you from overseas, internationally, the UK, Canada, Australia, India. We see you and we love you. And thank you so much for joining. We'll see you again next time.